Minus you see the ask to reduce for 10, launch. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have ignition. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying SF 8 for the United States Space Force. Now, 10 seconds in the flight, vehicle will be on the pitch over maneuver. Body air response look good. We are now hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle ascent data. Now, 20 seconds in. Are you wanting to be propellant utilization system has gone to closed loop control system response looks good. Now passing 30 seconds into flight. Vehicles completing the pitch over maneuver. Body rate responses continue to look good. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. SRV chamber pressure uh, within expected ranges. Now coming up on 58 seconds into flight, Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. R-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. SRV chamber pressure looks good. Now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Body rates continue to look good throughout boost phase. Now three minutes remaining in the booster phase of flight. Now passing 1 minute 30 seconds into flight, SRV chamber pressure tailing off now as SRVs are burning out. And we have SRV burnout. RD-180 throttling down slightly as expected, engine response looks good. Now passing 1 minute 50 seconds into flight, body rates continue to look good throughout boost phase. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Now two minutes into flight, we have good indication of jettison of the SRB. The Atlas V now weighs one half of its liftoff weight. And vehicle has gone to closed loop steering. Body rates look good. Two minutes remaining in the booster phase of flight. Atlas V is now 38 miles in altitude, 35 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,200 miles per hour. Now 2 minutes 40 seconds into flight. RD-180 pump speeds and injector pressures continue to look good. Body rates continuing to look good throughout boost phase. Now passing three minutes into flight. And Centaur Reaction Control System is now pressurizing the flight levels. RD-180 now throttling down to maintain a constant 2.5G acceleration limit. Engine response looks good as it's maintaining that uh, 2.5G acceleration limit. Now one minute remaining until BECO. And standing by for payload fairing jettison. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. And we have CFLR jettison. Now three minutes, 50 seconds into flight. Body rates continuing to look good. And RD-180 now throttling to maintain a constant 4.6 G acceleration limit. And we've begun boost phase chill down. And standing by for booster engine cutoff shortly. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff standing by for stage set. We have good indication of Atlas Centaur separation. We have pre-start on the RL-10. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good. Body rates look good. 